Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's King Lou coming at you with another one. We back at it. We back at Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. I hope y'all enjoying the show so far. I mean, I hope y'all enjoying the series so far. We getting back on task. We going to the main mission. Hopefully we ain't got to fight a lot of people. Well, no, we don't. It's right there. If you wouldn't mind, go ahead, like the video, subscribe if you knew. I got uploads every day, playing everything I can get my hand on and put something in the comments. Around here, you said? I take this suggestions. Place has delivery jobs? It should, anyway. And hang out for a while. They'll show up. I, I, I'm gonna take off. Uh, good luck to you. That's it? Figured you were staying. I don't know why you thought that. I am a taxi driver, not some pedal pushing bike boy. Take it sleazy. Take it sleazy. All right. Hmm. Looking for a job, bro? Huh? Uh, uh, yeah. All right, all right. Hmm. Wild fro, unique face. Getting a real wholesome moron vibe from you. Crazy, I dig it. All right, you got then. A problem? Who the hell are you, anyway? Me? I'm from the company you applied to. Crazy Eats. Food so fast, you'll think you've gone crazy. Call me Charlie. You're from... Seriously? Uh, sorry. My name's Ichiban Kasuga. I'm flat broke, so I need any work you've got. I beg you. <laughs> nice, nice. I like a guy who just lays it all out like that. You might just have what it takes to be crazy. Okay, you're in, Ichibro. Welcome aboard. Huh? Uh, hell yeah! Just like that? Sure, you've got the goods. More importantly, we're short-staffed. We'll hire anybody these days. Dogs, monkeys, bugs, shit, you name it. I, I uh, uh, okay. Well, uh, thank you. Yep, now, enough chit-chat. Let's get you rolling. Uh, sure, so, um, what's the job like? I only know it's some kind of food delivery. Yeah, that's right. We pick the food up and bike it on over to customers. The real money is in tips, by which I mean the only money you keep is from tips. More deliveries, more dinero. All right, deliver the food. The faster I go, the more I make. You know, when I was really hard up, I used to bike around for empty cans. I got this. <laughs> That's wild, man. I should tell you, though, there's one other way to earn moolah on this gig. Something that'll boost my pay? Hell yeah, I'm all ears. Well, I'm talking about delivering crazy. What does that mean? I mean, we're crazy eats, aren't we? A crazy delivery is what we strive to embody. Crazy is captivating. Crazy is captivating? For example, consider how I made my entrance just now. Jumping, spinning around, screaming. It's captivating stuff, wouldn't you say? Seeing our delivery associates act fun and funky is exactly what Crazy Eats is all about. The extra service we provide. We want to make the people of Hawaii laugh and smile with our outside-of-the-box way of doing things. That's how Crazy Eats disrupts the entire delivery industry. Look where we are! People come here for a reprieve from the dull and ordinary. Do you really think food delivery in paradise should be the same as it is everywhere else? It's a nice idea, but writing like that? Wouldn't all of it just spill? That's where your skill as a contracted deliverist comes in. Ride as fantastically as you can without making a mess of the food and go fast. Somewhere in all that chaos lies the brilliance of a true crazy professional. And listen, even if the food does take a spill, we got insurance for it. Customers will hopefully be understanding. Of course, we don't insure the deliverer, so look out for yourself. Anyway. Sound good to you? You in? I mean, yeah, sure. I need the cash. I'm in. Okay. That's more than enough onboarding. Learn by doing, I say. How's about you give it a go right now? 
I'm, I'm starting to realize this game is simultaneously saying Hawaii is a paradise, but also saying it's a crime haven. That's weird. That's it? Awesome, guess that was pretty easy for you. Yeah, it kind of was. Now for what sets credit tricks. I gotta do tricks? Okay, now that you got some speed, try pulling off a trick. What I gotta press? This is crazy! Oh! oh. Genius! That wasn't a slide. That's three tricks, crazy combo. When you hit stunts in succession, you start to gain extra. All right, perfect timing, bro. Customer alert. Break near him. Super crazy delivery. I'm gonna need a little bit more practice. I'm bored of all this training. Let's put your, okay, again, I need a little bit more training. Go. Good delivery. Wait, that was 250? Oh heck yeah, you know what? Let's do this. Good delivery. Wait, how much of a commission? Oh, quota is five that's a large quota. Oh, wait, hold on. I missed that. What was that? That must have been good. Bento box. Good delivery. Thanks for calling. All right, do I have enough? This is crazy. <gasps> Great delivery. Any time. Let's party! Awesome! Super crazy delivery! Thanks! Genius! This is crazy! Red! Super crazy delivery! Alright, so now it's just cash in my pocket, I got you. Oh wait, hold on. That Willy stop was crazy. Hold on, that was nice. This is crazy. Genius. Super crazy delivery. Just a grant, bruh. You didn't see me just doing all of those moves in a whatever. That's why you ugly. Oh, what was that? Again. Bruh, I just... Okay, I didn't lose everything. That was crazy. Oh. Mm -hmm. I didn't... <laughs> Wait, how much air can I get? Y'all got ramps? Okay, see? Yes, you, you, that was weird. Good delivery. Thanks for calling. This is crazy. Genius. Oh, you could do a willy. That's what's up. Crazy delivery. Anytime. Hold on. Can I get the 10 grand? Genius. Super crazy delivery. Oh, dang. Okay. Can I get to 12 grand then? Sweet party. Good delivery! That was crazy, I almost fell, y'all saw that. Thanks! Genius! Red! 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 Super crazy delivery! Thanks for 
calling! Great delivery! I didn't know you get that much money for delivering pizza. I might have to open up a side hustle. What the hell is this? What? Crazy. Yeah, that is super crazy. That was very crazy. <laughs> oh, let me take this last grand. Genius. Crazy delivery. Pause again. Oh yeah, I'm done with this. Hold on, I didn't know we could do all that. Totally, dude. <laughs> All right. That was hard work. Really? I, I that was more like fun work. Crazy. Oh, that's the last of it. Excelente, Ichi, bro. That was sick. You almost never see someone disrupt so hard on their first go. My man. Crazy deliveries might just be what you were born to do. <laughs> Thanks. It was tough, but once I got into a groove, pretty fun. Oh, <laughs> isn't it? The rush of speed, the danger of bailing, the insanity of your presentation. Oh, it's like ecstasy. You can't get that feeling from just riding a bike. You need the pressure of delivering. For most people, it's too much. But adrenaline demons like you, bro, you're gonna master it and get rich! Work hard and become the craziest delivery associate we've ever had. Oh, hey, let me give you this. I mean, why couldn't you give me like a BMX bike or something? A mountain bike? You gave me a banana bike. Glad to be working with you, Charlie. Ditto, bro. This is your calling. I know it. Remember, ABC, always be crazy. I'm missing Crazy Taxi right now. Call Charlie. All right. I'll finish Kasaga. Yeah. Tell me what you made. At least totally. thirty bucks. Come on. Of course I did. Now let's go over to Jeff. I've been had thirty on me. Just don't spend it along the way. <laughs> uh. Okay. Out. Whatever. All right then. To the taco truck we go. Bro, they really giving me the full effect of Hawaii right now. I respect it. Hold on one second. Let me, uh... No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. All right. I was going to do the bike thing again, but I'll do it later. Let's go talk to Jeff. It does be raining randomly in Hawaii. I mean, it does be having it. It does be having it. You know, it does be having it. It do be having this tropical weather, but them them uh, rain spouts be coming out of nowhere. Trolleys, huh? No, 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 wait, no, no, I messed up. It's going the wrong way. I remember riding the trolley. Is it? No, 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 no. If you get tired, hit your trolley ride. So especially if you with someone, you can chat while taking a spin. Oh, okay. We on a job right now. Honestly, you up in a. Mm -hmm. uh. Shred waves on the pavement with a street surfer. Would you like to take a spin? No, honestly, right now, I really don't. Is totally free. Yes, I hey, do. Excuse me. We're currently having a promotion for the Street Surfer. Membership is absolutely free. Are you interested? In a Street Surfer? No way in hell I'm setting foot on that death trap. It low key is. But wait, it's not effective anymore. Just give it another chance. <sighs> Nobody understands. Beauty that is my Street Surfer. Whoa. What's a Street Surfer? <clears throat> Ah, good sir. How about a cruise on a new and improved street surfer? In my day, we called it a segue. We're doing free trials, and membership is free too. It's a world-class deal. How about it? Um, I'm gonna need some more information. 
What exactly is a street surfer, anyway? You've never heard of it? Strange. It was blowing up all over the place before. Okay. Yep. Anyway, let's not get hung up on the details. I'm Oka, inventor of the street surfer. Patent pending. Uh, all right. I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Kasuga-san, good to meet you. And thanks for being willing to hear me out. Well then. <clears throat> the Street Surfer is an all-electric, eco-friendly light vehicle. Two decades of painstaking R&D in the making. Oh, uh, so you ride this thing? Looks a bit funky to me. Oh, contraire. This baby here is gonna revolutionize the industry. It didn't. Forget about e-boards and e-bikes. For starters, there's no kicking or pedaling involved. Just chillax and enjoy the ride. Believe me, it's the most user-friendly mobility tech out there. It is not. The only effort you need is to hop on and go. Huh. Well, that does sound handy. But if it's so great, why was everyone avoiding you just now? Oh, well, the truth is, I made a teensy little blunder during development. And, uh... And? <laughs> you see, remember when I said my invention blew up? News about it spread across the entire island. Uh, sure. I may not use the internet much, but I know all too well when something blows up on it. That's what happened, right? Uh, no. I mean, yes, I did get raked over the coals online, but you see, it blew up in more ways than one. Meaning? Well, there were a few kinks and hiccups to be ironed out with the Street Surfer back then, and uh, the thing had the tendency to uh, explode. So the damn thing blew up for real? I nearly died of humiliation. Uh, but I assure you, that's all in the past. After some deep soul searching, I decided to fix all the bugs and do the test runs myself. That's 500 million instances of trial and error right there. I nearly lost my life pouring blood, sweat, and tears into this invention on numerous occasions. But it was all worth it, because now this thing runs like a champ. It's the safest, most innovative vehicle to hit the market. However, my past failures haunt me to this day. I can't shake all the bad press, so no one will give it a chance. But I have absolute confidence in the latest model. If I could just get people to give it a shot, I'm sure things would take off from there. I get it. Sounds like you're in a tough spot. Well, if those battle scars are any evidence, it shows you're at least passionate about your product. So, what do you say? Will you take a leap of faith? You're the first person to hear me out in ages. I'm sure you won't regret giving it a try. You, you sure that thing's not gonna blow sky high? I swear it! <laughs> These lacerations are proof of progress! Yeah, if you say so. Again, as long as it's free though, I think we in a, we good. Want to obtain a street suit while riding the says surfer auto cruise, alright. Well only live no well you only live once. Yeah, let's take a first spin. Alright! Thank you so much! Now please, before you change your mind, right on! Oh, I can't use this to get to my destination? Alright, well, right in to engage Auto Road. If you open the map, press to set a destination on Street Surfer. Huh. Sure beats running around. Actually, it rides pretty smooth. You know what? I'm glad I ran into this. I must say, you're a natural. So, what do you think? Well, it's a lot cooler than I expected. It's almost easier than walking. And that's saying something. Music to my ears, good sir. <laughs> You don't know how much I've been yearning to hear those words. Oh, what have we here? Oh, great. Your street surfer wannabes at it again. What a dumbass. Not only is that shit lame, Damn. it's a ticking time bomb. Sorry, can I help you? Or perhaps clear something up? While there were some development issues in the past, 
I can assure you, the Street Surfer's current incarnation is as safe as it gets. What? You calling me a liar? Just for that, I'm gonna dunk this thing. No, you stop! You're hurting it! No, you're not. I'm surprised they ain't breaking their feet. <laughs> All right, and who we got here? A satisfied customer. See, I just had a blast on the Street Surfer. Might even sign up as a bona fide member. So why not trade it with a little more respect? Or, you know, at least have the stones to try it out. Are you really talking to me about respect? Okay then, how about I junk you first? Don't get caught. Okay, you asked for it. Why well, seem like they try to give the, him a like fake Hawaiian accent? Like, is it just me? Am I tripping? <laughs> Allow me. Oh, come on. Bring it. If you could get up at the Curio Punch, I'll commend you. Want some? Alright. Here we go. No, you're supposed to throw him. Looks like I'm up. Cool. That's how you do. The wind's That's be proud. how it does. A new Japanese restaurant is an extraordinary place. Kasuga-san, are you all right? Oh, you really went out of your way. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't worry about it. Guys like that bug me anyhow. More important, is the surfer still intact? They kicked the living crap out of it, but it'll survive. Alas, better safe than sorry. It's back to the lab with this one. If all the damage caused another malfunction, that'd be the end for sure. All right, good point. Hey, so, um, uh, earlier, you mentioned considering a street surfer membership. You still on board? Yeah. I've honestly taken a liking to it. And it's free right now anyway, right? <laughs> Plus, you seem to be in need of people, so... Oh, wow! That's so great to hear! In fact, it's a dream come true! So when I register, I'll be able to ride these anytime I want? Yes. Except in places where recreational vehicles are banned, you can basically ride them wherever, whenever. However, they run on electricity. So after using it for a while, you'll need to charge it up. This you can do at one of my specially branded charging stations, an Oka Charger, located sporadically throughout Hawaii. Now street surfers do cost money to recharge, but the more you charge at once, the more bang you get for your buck. You can also modify the appearance and functionality of your surfer at a charging station, so please tinker to your heart's content. You know, if they actually brought out something like this, it would actually will catch on again. If you could buy it and customize it and make it your own, I could see that business actually blowing up. Got it. Hawaii is pretty big, so I was kind of worrying about transportation. Oh, this will be a huge help. I'm so glad to hear that. In the meantime, I'll be working hard to expand my services for your convenience. Well then, guess I'll leave you to it. For sure. Take care. Yeah. You too, Kasuga-san! Oh no. Okasan! Hey, Okasan! Yes? Too late. It seems that kicking the device triggers combustion. Uh, but not to worry. I will fix this. Somehow. I mean, at least he's still breathing. Move it away from the tree! Oh, we don't need another island fire. Wait, can I... Can I call it in? How do I call it in? That's what I want to do. Apparently he speaks Japanese. Oh, uh, I'm not so sure. 
Oh well. I'll figure what it out you, later. What you looking at? Is it going good? I can handle anything. You should get back to the professor. Hey asshole! Not so tough! Bring it on. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I really was trying to run past him. Looks like I'm up. Let's go! Allow me. Time to take out the trash. Oh, come on! Let's do this! Here we go. Bro, you just fully embarrassed yourself. That's not getting stronger. Hey! Oh, you're alright, my friend. Alright. You. I've got your money. That's enough to get you to talk? Hmm, I suppose. What should I be talking about again? My passport got stolen three days ago. I want to know if someone brought it by. Hmm, someone sure did. Really? She was Japanese, and not to mention gorgeous. No doubt that passport was yours. <laughs> I couldn't forget that thuggish face or blown up hair if I tried. Okay, so she sold it to you? Oh no, she wasn't here to make money. She just wanted to know if it would get her into District 5. District 5? Uh, that's the Barracuda's hideout. Their hideout? You mean the guys from yesterday? Yeah, they got a squatter encampment across the river. It's all fenced in, with guards posted up at every corner. And if you're not one of them, huh, no good luck getting in. Or out. Okay, and how's my passport supposed to get someone in? Well, they have an interesting rule. If you're an outsider, they tell you to go steal a passport. Why is that exactly? That's how they make their money, fabricating passports. Apparently, the only way to make a good fake is by altering an original. I mean, that makes Every sense. Every passport I buy, I sell to them. Though not directly, of course. So someone else's passport is your ticket to District 5, huh? Pretty much. <laughs> and the girl who came by with yours, that ticket's probably long gone. Though, a girl like her should not be anywhere near District 5 by herself. Oh, wait. I tried to tell her, but no. Nobody listens to Jeff. I mean, have you seen yourself? Then what would make her even want to go in there? Beats me. But I doubt you'll see your passport again, brother. Once it's in District 5, it does not leave. Well, I need it back. Now I've got business with the thief who took it. Yeah, well, you can kiss your thief goodbye, too. Unless you follow her into District 5 somehow. Your adventure ends here, pal. Well, you heard him. I'd rather live to see tomorrow, so... Shut your coward so Listen, Akane-san's mixed up in some real bad stuff. You don't know this. Someone might even be holding her captive. And right now, Chitose's our only lead. Hmm. Can we get into District 5 another way? <laughs> I mean, maybe. But you're better off just swiping a passport. Hey, if there's another way, just tell us. Look, bottom line. District 5 is an impenetrable fortress of bumps. But, if you're a cop, you could probably get in. A cop? Yeah, <laughs> they do a monthly sweep there, claiming it's for safety reasons. But they just walk in and out, ignoring all the atrocities inside. They're just doing it to keep up appearances. All they care about is that, and donuts. Anyway, if you want to know the guy in charge, his name is Roman. 
He's probably in deep with the Barracudas. So we'll ask Roman to bring us along on patrol. That could be an option. Man, I never want to see a cop again. True, you're still a wanted man. Maybe leave the talking to me. Hmm, guys, you gotta realize, Roman's gonna flag this as a risk. And he's a greedier jerk-off than me. Expect to pay him 50,000 bucks. Uh, a buck's like a hundred yen, right? That'd be... Five million in yen? Please don't bring him yen. And besides, there's no way you can afford it. Is it clear you're wasting your time yet? So, no. 500 grand? Say this is our chance. What? <laughs> you have a mattress full of money lying around? No. Everything is negotiable, that's all. Huh. Well, I don't know who you think you are, but what's the harm in trying? He drinks every night at Diamond Head, a bar by District 5. We Akamai now? Sure. Hey, we really doing this? Hey, guys, could you hold up a second? Why? Something wrong? You really shouldn't go to District 5. I'm saying this for your own good. Waltzing right into Barracuda Turf? It's practically suicide. We're aware of the danger, but we don't have time on our side. If going into District 5 is the quickest way to solve things, then so be it. Right. And it's not like we're out to wreck the place. We're just gonna look for Chitose and get out. Yeah, if things play out right, we might not have to deal with the Barracudas at all. See? It's exactly that kind of thinking that's gonna get us all killed! Uh, uh, maybe you're right. Maybe they're more dangerous than we realize because we're not from here. But what's this really all about? Something tells me you've got more to say. You have history with the Barracudas? Is that it? <sighs> You know, you can always tell us. What makes you think we wouldn't help? He's right. And until you talk, he'll hound you to the ends of the earth. You know how persistent he is. You really gotta put it like that? Uh... So, this is far from a fun story. And not a short one either. It all happened a few years back. I was just a simple taxi driver. No Yamai, no cons, none like that. So you really were an honest cabbie, once? Yeah, well, I also wasn't rich, but I, I was happy. I had a woman to love, and man, did she love me. You believe we almost had a kid? Were you married? Those were the best days of my life. Sorry, that's a huge uh, problem in this country right now. Had a family. And my girl, her name was Marie. She was astounding. And you guys would have loved her. Anyway, she was nearly six months pregnant when it happened. And the cops showed up at our place with a warrant for my arrest. They came to arrest you? For what? They said I held up a cab and stole a bunch of money from some executive. What the hell? I was being framed, obviously. But the witnesses kept pouring in. And before I knew it, the judge gave me five years in prison. That's not bad. And the attorney had told me if I tried pleading innocent, they locked me for 15 years instead. That's bad. So you pled guilty then? Yeah. It was... Either I swallow the five years, or take the risk and triple it. And I was too broke to hire a better lawyer. It was like a nightmare I couldn't wake up from. I had my whole life ahead of me, and then in an instant, it was gone. <sighs> I never even understood why. That is, till I got to prison. Turns out I wasn't the only one screwed over like this. They told me so themselves. You mean, the guys in prison? Yeah. Apparently, the Barracudas get away with so much shit because their boss will set up innocent people instead. 
He'll bring in a bunch of fake witnesses or buy out the police if he has to. You remember Roman, that cop Jeff mentioned? He's the guy pulling the strings on the law side. <sighs> Seems not a lot's changed since then. So the Barracudas have the police in their pocket. Uh, how'd Marie take it? When I got locked up, she only came to see me once. She told me she miscarried. I'm so sorry, bro. No. And she was under so much stress. Should have seen it coming. I am so, I so sorry. She was eating right or getting any sleep. Her eyes were sunken. She was thin as a bone. I apologize for the well, baby mama comment. Shit that happened to me. And that was the last I saw of her. When I got out, couldn't find a single trace of her. Honestly, I just hope that she's out there doing okay. That's all you can do. I told you this wasn't going to be fun. And that's only half the story. Once I was free, I started hanging by this fancy restaurant near District 5. Why? Because word inside was that it was the favorite haunt of the Barracuda's boss. So I spent every last cent I had to my name and bought a gun. Shit. For revenge. For Marie. For a child who never had a chance at life. I knew what the boss looked like. I'm not sure anymore how long it took, but I kept watching until the day he showed his face. When I was locked up, always imagined it going the exact same way. I rushed past his goons, stepped right up to him, and emptied my whole clip point blank. And the moment came. I was shaken. Couldn't move. <sighs> He even had fewer guards than I'd pictured. Should have been easy. Bastard walked right past me. He didn't have a care in the world. I'm a fucking coward. Maybe. <laughs> well, that's why you're alive today. <laughs> God damn. I'm you a coward, you. yes you are. Just another gutted corpse. At least I'd have been killed for a reason. What am I now? A ghost? Robs tourists with a gun he hasn't got the courage to shoot? Isn't it better to die for something than to live for nothing? Tomisawa. With all my money gone, I fell in with Yamai. Pay my debts. He's the only man left in Hawaii still stupid enough to compete with the Barracudas. What's that say about me? Huh? I'm even stupider for following him. Maybe I was hoping he'd be able to take them down someday. But I knew it had never happened. So that's my story. Hope you realize now who you're dealing with. Not just the Barracudas. With scum like me. Well, you sure set us straight about how bad the Barracudas can get. Yeah. Their ties with the police are worrying. But listen. You've got yourself all wrong, Tomizawa. Huh? You're not a bad guy. And you're no coward. I saw you walk away from Yamai. That took real courage. He might have killed you, but you knew it was the right thing to do. Come on, man. You talked me into it. That doesn't matter. You made the decision. It was your call. Nobody else's. Now, no more robbing people, okay? Can we agree on that? Yeah. Huh. After all you've been through, I get that this may be a fight you want to walk away from. But if you really think you're scum, that you're just another criminal, this might be the only way to change that. A way to start living again. <sighs> Look, killing the boss of the Barracudas or not, that's another call you'll have to make yourself. All I know is that I'm not going to stand by and let them keep getting away with their shit. And if you're up for it, I know you'll be able to help us take them down. <laughs> you want me? <laughs> if you haven't noticed, our English is pretty rough. We could use a translator. Besides that, we need to find Akane-san fast. That means going to District 5. And I don't know anybody as well acquainted with the Hawaiian underworld as you. Help us out, and maybe get the chance to set things right. Not a bad deal, is it? 
What do you think, Kiryu-san? Hmm. Maybe dangerous. But it could also be your one path to redemption. <laughs> you two are some lousy salesmen, honestly. If you're still planning to take the Barracudas on after all you've heard... We are. Then fine. I'll go with you. Do-gooders like you? The Barracudas will eat you alive without me. Yeah. <laughs> eat you alive. I get it. Glad to have you on board, Tomizawa. You're both nuts. Fine. First things first. We find Roman. You have a good eye for teammates. <laughs> it's not hard to tell when someone needs a friend. Let's do this. Alright y'all, I'm gonna end it right here. I know that was a lot of talking. I'm probably gonna make the next part like an hour, hour and a half because... Well, that was ridiculous. But if you wouldn't mind, like the video. Let me know what your favorite part was. Let me know what your least favorite part. Um, put in the comments if you want me to... S I'm so sorry. Whatever game you want me to play or whatever game you want me to try, just put it in the comments. I'll test it out and whatnot. Um, other than that, it's been King Lou coming at you. Everybody take care. Everybody stay safe. I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace.